Beloved brothers and sisters, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we gather together with a shared purpose to explore the comforting words of Psalm 91 and discover how they can assist us in finding restful sleep in the presence of God. In our fast-paced and demanding lives, finding peaceful sleep can often elude us. Our lives are increasingly busy and exhausting. Our minds may be filled with worries, anxieties, stress, and the burdens of the day. All this oppression exhausts us mentally, emotionally, and sometimes even spiritually. However, as believers, we have been blessed with a powerful tool, the Word of God, to guide us through every aspect of our lives, including our sleep. Psalm 91 is a profound passage that offers solace and protection as we seek refuge in the Lord. It reminds us of the promises of God's faithfulness and love, assuring us that we are not alone. By embracing the message of Psalm 91, we can cultivate a deep sense of peace and tranquility that paves the way for restful sleep. During our time together, we will explore the verses of this beautiful psalm, delving into their profound meanings and practical applications. We will discuss various strategies and practices that can help us incorporate Psalm 91 into our bedtime routine, allowing us to experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. May this gathering be a source of encouragement and inspiration as we seek to rest in the presence of God, confident in His unfailing love. Let us open our hearts and minds to the wisdom of His Word and embrace the transformative power of Psalm 91. Together, let us embark on this journey to discover how it can help us fall asleep fast in the comforting presence of our Heavenly Father. Finding restful sleep is essential for our overall well-being and spiritual vitality. As Christians, we can draw comfort from the promises found in Psalm 91, which speaks of God's protection, refuge, and faithfulness. This prayer is designed to help Christians fall asleep peacefully, surrendering their cares and worries to the Lord, and finding solace in His loving embrace. Psalm 91 holds a special place in the hearts of believers as a powerful source of encouragement, assurance, and trust in the unfailing protection and faithfulness of God. In times of trouble, uncertainty, or fear, this psalm provides a profound message of hope and serves as a motivating force to strengthen our faith. Let us delve into the depths of Psalm 91 and draw inspiration from its timeless truths, reminding ourselves of the unwavering shelter we find in God. This psalm begins by inviting us to dwell in the shelter of the Most High. It is an invitation to seek a close and intimate relationship with God, finding solace and rest in His presence. As believers, we are called to position ourselves under the shadow of the Almighty, recognizing that true security lies in Him alone. When we make God our refuge and fortress, we declare our trust in His divine protection and sovereignty. You see, verse 4 paints a beautiful picture of God's tender care and protection. It compares Him to a bird that covers its young with its feathers, providing a safe haven from danger. Just as a chick finds refuge under the wings of its mother, we can find safety and peace in the embrace of our Heavenly Father. God's faithfulness becomes our shield and rampart, shielding us from harm and preserving us in times of adversity. Yes, Psalm 91 instills confidence and courage within us assuring us that we need not fear the perils of this world. The psalmist mentions various forms of danger such as traps, deadly pestilences, and terrors of the night. However, we are encouraged to rise above fear, knowing that our God is with us. 
No matter what challenges or threats we encounter, God's presence and protection are constant, enabling us to walk forward without fear. In verse 11, the Bible reveals a powerful promise that the Lord commands His angels to guard us in all our ways. As believers, we are not alone in our journey. God assigns angelic protection to His children, watching over us and ensuring our well-being. This truth should ignite a sense of confidence and assurance within us, knowing that we are under the constant care of heavenly beings. With such divine intervention, even the greatest obstacles and dangers can be overcome. Our love for Him and our recognition of His Lordship prompt Him to respond to our prayers and deliver us from trouble. When we align our hearts with His, surrendering ourselves to His will and purpose, we position ourselves to experience His mighty hand at work in our lives. Such acknowledgement leads to a deeper intimacy with God, where we can find true safety and fulfillment. In times of trouble, distress, or hardship, we can confidently call upon the Lord. Verse 15 assures us that He will answer us, be with us in our troubles, and deliver us from them. God promises to honor those who trust in Him, demonstrating His faithfulness and manifesting His salvation in their lives. He provides a way of escape, a pathway of triumph, and a testimony of His goodness through the trials we face. When we find our refuge in God and embrace His protection, He satisfies us with His presence and blessings. This satisfaction is not limited to earthly desires, but encompasses the deepest longings of our soul. It is a satisfaction that comes from knowing and experiencing the fullness of God's love, grace, and salvation. When we abide in the shelter of the Most High, we are not exempt from the challenges and difficulties of life. However, Psalm 91 reminds us that we have a powerful ally, a steadfast protector who never leaves our side. We are assured that even in the midst of trials, God's promises for us remain unshakable. Let's pray. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. In the name of Jesus, amen. Heavenly Father, as I lay down to sleep, I come before you, acknowledging your sovereignty, love, and faithfulness. I recognize that you are the Most High, the Almighty, and my refuge. I find comfort in knowing that I can rest in your presence, finding peace and security in your loving arms. Verse 1 of Psalm 90 One reminds me that when I dwell in your shelter, I can find rest in your shadow. Tonight, I choose to abide in your presence, seeking solace and tranquility in you alone. I surrender my anxieties, worries, and cares to you, 
for you are my source of strength and comfort. In verse 2, I declare that you are my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. I choose to place my full confidence and reliance on you. In the quietness of this moment, I surrender all my concerns to you. Knowing that you are in control of every aspect of my life, I release any burdens I have been carrying and trust that you will carry them for me. Verse 3 assures me that you will save me from snares and protect me from deadly pestilences. Lord, I ask for your divine protection over my physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Shield me from any harm, danger, or illness that may seek to disrupt my sleep. I trust in your unfailing promises to keep me safe. In verse 4, your word paints a beautiful picture of a bird protecting its young under its wings. Tonight, I seek refuge under your wings, finding comfort and peace in your embrace. Cover me with your feathers shielding me from any disturbances or disturbances that may hinder my sleep. Help me to feel your presence as a tangible and comforting presence throughout the night. Lord, I cast out any fear or anxiety that may attempt to invade my mind as I sleep. In verse 5, your word reassures me that I need not fear the terrors of the night or the arrows that fly by day. I choose to let go of all fear and trust in your protection. Grant me a peaceful and undisturbed sleep, knowing that you are with me. Verse 6 reminds me that even in the darkness and midst of the unknown, you are my light and my salvation. You are the one who dispels darkness and guides me in the path of righteousness. I trust in your guidance and ask that you lead me into a restful sleep free from nightmares or troubling thoughts. In verse 7, your word assures me that even if a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, no harm will come near me. I take hold of this promise and declare it over my life. I am under your divine protection and I choose to rest in your assurance. Guard me against any spiritual attacks or disturbances during my sleep. Lord, in verse 9, I affirm that you are my refuge. I make you my dwelling place, seeking your presence not only in the daytime, but also as I sleep. I invite your peace to fill my room, creating an atmosphere of tranquility and rest. Let your presence permeate every corner, driving away any negative or unsettling influences. In verse 10, your word promises that no harm or disaster will overtake me or come near my dwelling. I cling to this promise, knowing that you are my protector and shield. As I rest, I trust that you will guard my home, my loved ones, and all that concerns me. I release any worries about security or safety into your capable hands. In verse 11, your word declares that you command your angels to guard me in all my ways. Heavenly Father, I thank you for assigning your angels to watch over me as I sleep. I ask that you station them around my bed, forming a protective shield against any spiritual opposition. Let them stand as sentinels, warding off any negative influences or demonic attacks. As I close my eyes and surrender to sleep, I pray for sweet dreams and peaceful thoughts. Help me to rest in your peace, knowing that you are in control. I release any troubling thoughts or concerns into your care. Replace them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, in verse 12, your word assures me that your angels will lift me up in their hands, preventing me from stumbling or falling. I ask that you cover me with your divine grace and guidance, that I may navigate through life's challenges with steadfastness and assurance. Hold me in your hands, Lord, and let me experience the safety and security that comes from being under your loving care. In verse 13, your word speaks of victory over the lion and the cobra, symbolizing the triumph over spiritual enemies. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Grant me the confidence to face any spiritual opposition with boldness and faith. 
Strengthen me to stand firm against the schemes of the enemy, even in my sleep. Heavenly Father, in verse 14, you promise to rescue and protect those who love you and acknowledge your name. I affirm my love for you and my commitment to walk in your ways. May your divine favor and protection be upon me as I sleep. I am grateful for your unwavering love and faithfulness. In verse 15, your word assures me that when I call upon you, you will answer me. Lord, as I lay myself down to sleep, I call upon your name. Hear my prayers, my concerns, and my praises. Be attentive to the cries of my heart, for you are a God who listens and responds. I trust that you will be with me through the night and grant me the peace that I seek. This verse also promises that you will be with me in times of trouble, delivering me and honoring me. Lord, I thank you for your constant presence and provision. In the quiet hours of the night, I ask that you surround me with your peace and deliverance. Lift any burdens or worries from my heart, replacing them with your peace and comfort. In verse 16, your word declares that you will satisfy me with long life and show me your salvation. I thank you for the gift of life and the assurance of eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. Grant me restful sleep that rejuvenates my body, mind, and spirit. Renew my strength as I surrender to your care and protection. As I conclude this prayer, Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness, love, and protection. May the truths of Psalm 90, one be deeply ingrained in my spirit, bringing comfort and assurance whenever I face challenges. Help me to continually dwell in your shelter, finding rest and peace in your presence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. May this prayer based on Psalm 91 serve as a source of comfort and assurance as you surrender your sleep into the hands of our faithful God. May his peace envelop you, and may you awaken refreshed, knowing that you are under his loving care. Sleep is a vital aspect of our physical and emotional well-being. It is a time of rest and rejuvenation, allowing our bodies and minds to recharge. As believers, we have the privilege of experiencing the added benefits of sleeping in God's presence. From finding peace and security to receiving guidance and healing, sleeping in God's presence offers us a transformative experience. In fact, Psalm 4.8 declares, In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. When we sleep in God's presence, we can experience a deep sense of peace and security. Knowing that we are under His watchful care and protection brings comfort to our hearts. We can rest assured that even during uncertainties, dangers, or anxieties, God is our refuge and fortress. The act of sleeping is often associated with vulnerability and surrender. We lay down our defenses, close our eyes, and trust that we will awake in the morning refreshed and renewed. In the same way, when we sleep in the presence of God, we surrender ourselves entirely to His care and protection. We acknowledge that He is the ultimate source of our security and find comfort in the knowledge that He never sleeps nor slumbers. The journey of faith is often filled with challenges and uncertainties. We face trials, difficulties, and the storms of life that threaten to steal our peace and rob us of sleep. However, when we intentionally seek to sleep, in God's presence, we invite Him to be the anchor for our restless soul. We release our burdens and worries to Him, trusting that He is in control and that He will work all things together for our good. Moreover, sleeping in God's presence allows us to experience a unique intimacy with our Creator. It is in the stillness of the night that we can truly connect with Him on a deep, spiritual level. As we lay our heads on our pillows, we can engage in heartfelt prayers, pouring out our hopes, dreams, and concerns before Him. 
We can meditate on his word, allowing it to penetrate our hearts and fill our minds with his truth. In these precious moments, we encounter the presence of God in a profound way, and his peace becomes a tangible reality in our lives. Sleeping in God's presence also guards our hearts and minds against fear and anxiety. In Philippians 4, 6, 7, we are exhorted, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we surrender our concerns to God before we sleep, we invite His peace to flood our hearts and minds, displacing fear and worry. His peace becomes a sentinel, standing guard over our thoughts and emotions, and guiding us into a deep and restful sleep. In Psalm 37, 4, we read, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. As we cultivate a habit of sleeping in His presence, our desires become aligned with His desires. Our hearts become attuned to His voice, and our dreams and aspirations are shaped by His plans and purposes for our lives. Our sleep becomes a time of surrender, where we let go of our own agendas and yield ourselves to His perfect will. In doing so, we find fulfillment and contentment in knowing that we are walking in step with Him. Furthermore, sleeping in God's presence reminds us of our dependence on Him. It is easy to become self-reliant and believe that we are in control of our lives. Yet, when we lay our heads down to sleep, we acknowledge our need for God's provision and guidance. We recognize that our strength comes from Him alone and that without Him, we can do nothing. As we embrace this humility and surrender, we position ourselves to receive His grace and mercy. We recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from above, including the gift of restful sleep, James 1.17. When we sleep in God's presence, we also open ourselves up to divine revelations and encounters. Throughout the Bible, we see how God often spoke to His people through dreams and visions during the night. In the book of Job, it says, For God does speak, now one way, now another, though no one perceives it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, He may speak in their ears. Job 33, 14, 16. By positioning ourselves to sleep in God's presence, we create an environment where He can communicate with us in profound and transformative ways. Our dreams can become conduits of His wisdom, guidance, and revelation, leading us into greater understanding of His plans for our lives. Psalm 3, 5 states, I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. Sleeping in God's presence strengthens our faith and trust in Him. As we rest in His care, we witness His faithfulness in sustaining us through the night and waking us up to a new day. This continual experience of His provision deepens our confidence in His love, protection, and guidance. Our faith grows as we recognize His faithful presence in every aspect of our lives, including our sleep. From finding peace and security to receiving guidance, healing, and divine revelations, our sleep becomes a time of spiritual renewal and intimacy with our Heavenly Father. By surrendering our worries and anxieties, we open ourselves to the restorative power of His presence. Through sleep, we can experience a deeper connection with God, a renewal of our minds and spirits, and an increase in faith and trust. Let us embrace the privilege of sleeping in God's presence, trusting that He will bless our sleep and awaken us to His loving care each day. To conclude this message, here's what you need to know. 
The practice of sleeping in God's presence is a powerful and transformative way to find rest, peace, and security in our lives. It is an invitation to trust in His unfailing love and care, knowing that He watches over us even as we sleep. As we surrender ourselves to His presence, we experience His peace that surpasses all understanding. We align our hearts and minds with His will, and we open ourselves up to divine encounters and revelations. Moreover, sleeping in God's presence impacts our physical and emotional well-being, allowing us to experience true rest and rejuvenation. Let us, therefore, cultivate the habit of sleeping in God's presence. Let us intentionally create a space for Him in our bedtime routines, where we can lay down our burdens, connect with Him in prayer and meditation, and surrender our lives to His loving care. May we find comfort and assurance in the promise of Psalm 3-5, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. May the presence of God surround us as we sleep, filling us with His peace, guarding our hearts and minds, and leading us into a life of abundant rest and purpose in Him. May you be blessed with deep and restful sleep in the comforting presence of our Heavenly Father. May this powerful message, based on Psalm 91, allow you to experience a deep sense of peace and security. Bless and be blessed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bedtime is an essential part of our day. It's a time to rest, recharge, and prepare for the day ahead. But it's also an excellent time to connect with God and seek His protection. God's love for us never sleeps, and He promises to watch over us even as we rest. By praying for His protection before we sleep, we invite Him to guard us from harm and guide us towards a peaceful and restful night. Here are five bedtime prayers for sleeping focused on asking God to protect us from evil, sickness, fear, and all kinds of attacks from the enemy. So. If you want to sleep in God's presence, before you go to bed, repeat these bedtime prayers and rest assured that God is watching over you, even when you're sleeping. Bedtime Prayer of Protection from Sickness Dear God, as I prepare to go to sleep tonight, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude for your love and care for me. I ask that you protect me from sickness and disease and help me to maintain good health. Strengthen my immune system and help me to maintain good health, so that I can Live a life that glorifies you. Father, I know that sickness and disease can come from many sources, both physical and spiritual. I ask that you protect me from all forms of illness, whether they come from viruses, bacteria, or other causes, bacteria, or other causes. I pray that you would give me wisdom to make good choices for my health and that you would guide me in the decisions that I make about my diet, exercise, and lifestyle. Lord. I ask that you also protect me from spiritual sickness and disease, help me to guard my heart and mind against negative thoughts and emotions, and to fill myself with your peace and joy. Protect me from the attacks of the enemy and help me to stand firm in my faith in you. Father, I trust in your healing power, and I ask that you heal any sickness or disease that I may be experiencing. Give me strength and energy to face each day and help me to rely on your strength when I'm feeling weak. May I wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and renewed, ready to face the day ahead? Lord, I know that you are the great physician and that you have the power to heal all diseases. I pray that you would be with me and guide me as I seek medical treatment or advice and that you would give me peace and comfort as I face any challenges related to my health. Father, I ask that you bless me with good health and vitality so that I can serve you and others to the best of my abilities. Help me to be a good steward of the body that you have given me and to use it to glorify you in all that I do. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Bedtime Prayer of Protection from Fear Dear God, as I lay down to sleep tonight, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude for all that you have done for me. 
I ask that you protect me from fear and anxiety and help me to trust in your goodness and faithfulness even in the midst of difficult circumstances, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. Father, I know that fear and anxiety can come from many sources, whether they be worries about the future, past mistakes, or present challenges. I ask that you cover me with your peace and comfort and help me to rest in your loving heart. Protect my mind from negative thoughts and replace them with your truth. Lord, I know that you are a God of peace and that you desire for your children to live in a state of peace and calmness. I ask that you calm any anxiety or worry that I may be experiencing right now and help me to trust in your unfailing love for me. Father, I pray that you would help me to remember that you are with me always and that I have nothing to fear. Your word says that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Help me to claim that truth for myself and to live in the confidence of your love for me. Lord, I ask that you also protect me from any spiritual attacks that may be causing fear or anxiety in my life. Help me to put on the full armor of God and to stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Protect my heart and mind from the lies of the enemy and help me to focus on your truth. Father, I pray that you would give me a peaceful and restful night's sleep. Help me to wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and renewed, ready to face the day ahead. Fill me with your peace and joy and help me to spread your love to those around me. Lord, I know that you are faithful and true and that you will never leave me or forsake me. Help me to trust in your goodness even when life is hard. Thank you for your love and care for me and for your protection over my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bedtime prayer of protection for the future. Dear God, as I prepare to go to sleep tonight, I ask for your protection over my future. I know that you have a plan and purpose for my life and I trust in your guidance and provision for me. Father, I pray that you protect me from any harm or danger that may come my way in the future. Help me to make wise decisions and to follow your will for my life. Protect me from any mistakes or wrong turns that may lead me away from your plan. Lord, I ask that you give me a sense of peace and assurance as I face the uncertainties of the future. Help me to trust in your sovereignty and to know that you are in control of all things. Protect me from any anxieties or worries that may come from thinking about the future. Father. I know that you have promised to be with me always, even until the end of the age. Help me to hold on to that promise and to trust in your constant presence with me. Protect me from any doubts or fears that may come from not being able to see the future clear. Lord, I pray that you would guide me in all of my future endeavors. Help me to make decisions that honor you and that align with your will for my life. Protect me from any distractions or temptations that may lead me astray. Father. I pray that you would also protect my loved ones and their futures. Help them to follow your will for their lives and to trust in your provision for them. Protect them from any harm or danger that may come their way and give them a sense of peace and assurance about the future. Lord, I know that you are faithful and true and that your plans for me are good. Help me to rest in that truth even as I face the uncertainties of the future. Protect me from any fears or worries that may keep me from experiencing the fullness of life that you have for me. Father, I pray that you would give me a peaceful and restful night's sleep. Help me to wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and ready to face the day ahead. Protect me from any nightmares or disturbing thoughts that may disrupt my sleep. Lord, I know that you are my protector and my refuge and that I can trust in your care for me. Help me to rely on your strength and to rest in your love. Protect me from any harm or danger that may come my way and guide me into a future that is filled with hope and promise. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Bedtime Prayer of Protection from Evil Dear God, as I prepare to go to sleep tonight, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and thanksgiving. I thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon me throughout the day and for your unwavering love and faithfulness. As I lay down to rest, I ask that you cover me with your rest. I ask that you cover me with your protection and shield me from all forms of evil. Lord, your word tells us that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against powers 
against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. I ask that you equip me with the full armor of God, that I may stand against the wiles of the devil and his minions. Father, I pray that you would cover me with your precious blood and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Protect me from the attacks of the enemy and send your angels to stand guard around me. I pray that you would keep me safe from all harm and help me to sleep peacefully tonight, knowing that you are watching over me. Lord, I ask that you fill my mind with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Help me to release any worry or anxiety that I may be carrying and entrust it into your loving hands. I pray that you would give me a restful and rejuvenating sleep so that I may wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and renewed, ready to face the day ahead. Thank you, Lord for your unfailing love and protection. I know that I can trust in you. Even in the midst of difficult circumstances, I pray that you would continue to guide and direct my steps and that you would lead me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Bedtime prayer of protection for your loved ones. Dear God, as I lay down to sleep tonight, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and thanksgiving. I thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon me and for the gift of my loved ones. I ask that you watch over them and protect them as they rest tonight. Father, I ask that you cover my loved ones with your love and surround them with your angels. Protect them from harm and danger and keep them safe from anything that would seek to cause them harm. I pray that you would be a shield around them, protecting them from physical harm, emotional distress, and spiritual attacks. Lord, I pray that you would protect their minds and hearts from worry and fear. Help them to release any anxiety or stress that they may be carrying, and to trust in your unfailing love and care. Fill them with your peace that surpasses all understanding and help them to rest deeply and soundly tonight. Father. I ask that you bless my loved ones with good health, abundant provision, and opportunities to grow and thrive. I pray that you would surround them with your grace and favor, and that your hand of blessing would be upon them in all that they do. Lord, I pray that you would draw them closer to you each day and that they would grow in their faith and trust in you. Help them to seek you first in all things and to follow your guidance and direction for their lives. May their hearts be filled with love for you and for others, and may they be a light in the darkness, shining your love and truth to all who cross their paths. Father, I entrust my loved ones into your care and protection. I know that you are always with them, watching over them and guiding them. I ask that you continue to bless them and protect them, and that you would bring them closer to you each day. Thank you for your unfailing love and care, and for the peace that comes from knowing that you are always with us. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is with great joy and excitement that I welcome you today to this special Christian encouragement message. It is always a blessing to come together as one community of believers, united by our faith in Jesus Christ, and to share in the love and grace that He has bestowed upon us. As we navigate through the challenges and uncertainties of life, it can be easy to become overwhelmed and lose sight of the peace and comfort that can only come from the presence of God in our lives. That is why, in today's message, I want to share with you some peaceful prayers that can help you feel the presence of God in your life and bring you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Before we begin, I want to remind you of the power of prayer. Prayer is a direct line of communication with God, and it is through prayer that we can lay our burdens at His feet and receive the comfort and strength that we need to face each day with renewed hope and faith. So, as we embark on this journey together, I encourage you to open your hearts and minds to the power of prayer and to allow God to speak to you through these peaceful prayers. Let us begin with this prayer for peace. Dear God, we come before you today seeking the peace that only you can give. 
We ask that you would calm our hearts and still our minds, that we may be filled with your presence and experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. Help us to trust in you and to know that you are with us, even in the midst of the storms of life. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, and we ask that you would guide us and lead us in the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As we pray for peace, let us also remember to pray for strength. Dear God, we come before you today asking for your strength and your courage to face the challenges and difficulties that lie ahead. Help us to trust in your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us and to know that you are with us always. Strengthen our faith that we may have the courage to persevere through trials and tribulations and to emerge stronger and more faithful than ever before. We thank you for your love and your grace, and we ask that you would continue to guide us and lead us in the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Finally, let us remember to give thanks and praise to God for all that he has done for us. Dear God, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and praise. We thank you for your love and your mercy and for the countless blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your presence in our lives and for the peace and joy that comes from knowing you. Help us to live our lives in a way that brings honor and glory to your name and to share your love and your grace with others. We thank you for your faithfulness, and we ask that you would continue to guide us and lead us in the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I pray that these peaceful prayers have brought you comfort and strength, and that you have felt the presence of God in your life today. Remember that God loves you unconditionally and that he is always with you even in the darkest moments of your life. I encourage you to continue to pray and to seek God's presence in your life and to allow his love and grace to transform you from the inside out. May God bless you abundantly and may you experience his peace and his love in your life today and always.